currently there's four different tests. One is uh, the FISH test that has been used in the cross-optimum trials so far. So that's the only evidence we have. But during the process, we all know with uh, the global effort of uh, tumor profiling, getting to personalized medicine, and uh, DNA and RNA available. So a lot of time, you know, the results come from uh, RT-PCRs and from the tumor samples available for the molecular profiling test. So also traditionally, and it's immunohistochemistry. Even with all the KBS and the operator dependent, we all know that fish test is quite label intensive. It's a very complex um, technique. Needs a special um, laboratory to um, define the test, to interpret that. And so I think, you know, we're probably going to start with the fish test and uh, because that's the only proven efficacy for the patient who is detected by fish to be a positive, have a clinical benefit to cause opponent. Uh, on the other hand, in the commu anticipating community use, what test is more, have a shorter term around time, and uh, less label intensive, and uh, more cost effective, we'll be all looking into that. So that's one of the big subjects of the research.